let's hear it, let's hear it, my God. Where is he? And now, here he is, the Emmy Award winning Mr. Warmth himself, Don Rickles. And a kid, who knows from that crap, for Christ's sake. I love the girl, but she's out here singing, and I gotta do a good job now. The Mexican guy's in the back waiting with the broad, they're gonna jump on the donkey, and I come out and I attack it. The whole band gets in heat, we drop our pants and fire a rocket, for Christ's sake. We gotta do good. Where, where are we? What the hell's the name of this place? What? Pala? Yeah, I got an uncle here, he's got a fungus. I said, well, what's the matter with you, Herbie? I got a fungus in Pala. Look at these people in the front. Jesus Christ, I'm working at home. <laughs> 40 million Jews, they put a bunch of old Gentiles spitting up all over themselves. <laughs> Jews don't come here, for Christ's sake. They're in Palm Springs trying to get money for these people, for Christ's sake. <laughs> the whole goddamn thing. The bunky, the whole, am I right or wrong when I'm talking, what I'm talking about? Right. Well, you snap out of it. The money is shaky with you guys. I'll tell you this, especially the f on the end here. I'll tell you this, that's the... <laughs> I can spot them a mile away, for Christ's sake. You, you, did you pass away, for Christ's sake? We gotta do a good job tonight. I can't believe this front. Are you from the Indians? Look at this, look at this broad hair. Yeah, and, they, and they sit with their legs open like a train's gonna go in there, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Fix the dress. I'm not dead yet, for Christ's sake. No, but with you, I'm dead. I'll tell you this. No, you're not a bad looking lady. 60 years ago, you must have been dynamite. Now, you're just getting a bathtub and the water goes. Blah, 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 blah. You, you ruined it. Everything I say, I did up in my room tonight and I laughed my ass off. We got we to gotta do good for Granite Look, I'm getting, a, I'm getting a stroke while I'm up here for Christ's sake. I try to do a good job. I really do. What are you holding the cane for? Nobody's going to walk you around the room for Christ's sake. Look at this, an old Indian putz with a cane for Christ's sake. I can't get on the horse. My cane broke. Now I'll tell you this. Are, are you an Indian? Yeah, your ass, you're a black guy. I'll tell you this. Black guy passing himself off as an Indian. What, that's better? I'll tell you this. <laughs> Is he laughing? It could be Obama's kid. <laughs> you gotta understand. Please. Ah, you ruined the whole goddamn show. No, I want, to, I want to do a good job. I swear to God. That, that's a good outfit. Put a stick on your ass, you got an umbrella. <laughs> Try to do what the guy dressed up for the show, for Christ's sake. The whole guy, sit up. You're, the black guy, you're not in the toilet. Sit back, sit back, for Christ's sake. No, I try to do a good job. I swear to God. That's the method. Shut up. I'll tell you this, be like the Chinaman, just sit there and try to figure out where the stage is. Anyway, I know you all, I know you all. I tell you this, that's the whole goddamn thing. You gotta understand, what's your name, kid? What's your name? Me, sir? No, the chair. 
Let's, Cameron, get up. Now get out. Get, walk over there. Get over there. Get over there. I wanted to be with you ladies so bad. Spider's not dead yet. I'm still there. 40 million Jews. I try to do a job in this goddamn place. States seven mile high care. Got to put a stick on my ass with a motor for Christ's sake. What are you doing? Holding on to your bird, right? I saw that. Nah, nah. Nothing to be ashamed of. I hold on to mine too. My guy's name's Spider. What's your guy's name? Harvey. Harvey. <laughs> Harvey. Say hello to Spider. I felt some movement here. Let me try to sit down. Sit down. He's a real Italian. Look at the way they walk. They put olive oil on their ass and everything locks. But we need the Italians. Remember what the Italian people said in World War II? Is that gunfire? I'll tell you this. It's the whole goddamn thing. Come on, lady. I laughed at you for Christ's sake. I... Woman sitting there. Like it's like an audition for crying out loud. How much you weigh, Tiny? How much you weigh? 380 on the left side of your ass, you wait 380. Is that your wife? She must lay in the bed at night and go, no! Lady, you gotta make love like the Jews. Circle the bed and get an estimate. I'll tell you this. There are not many Jews here. That's the whole goddamn thing. Take your hat off, this guy. It's not a high holiday. Take the hat, goddamn hat off. Guy's sitting there waiting for a cab. Are you Japanese? Are you Japanese? Are you Japanese? Tonight, for Christ's sake, tonight! You Japanese? Korean? Korean? Filipino? Three years in a jungle, I had to bust my ass for you people. Three years, Sabu, Takloban, bum, 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 And now I kiss your ass, you know why? Because I don't want you out of here, that's why. No, God bless you. What's your name, running duck, a soy sauce? What the hell's your name? No, what's your first name? George. They give themselves that name so the cops don't arrest them. Anyway, uh, now God bless you, George. Sabu, Taklovid, Lingayan Gulf. Two years. But now it's all over and we're friends. Anyway, uh, no, we are, we are. I love the Filipino people, they were great to me. Uh, Manny Pacwa, my friend. Hey, he ran into the wrong thing, but hey. <laughs> Yeah, Manny got upset that night. I don't know what the hell happened. You gotta go to the toilet so bad. Debbie was great, wasn't she? Debbie was great, wasn't she? I knew her husband, Eddie Fisher, and we went out together. It's like being alone. Son of a bitch, I'm funny. I'll tell you, you don't see that too often here, except in this part of the country. Guy in the front with anklet socks. Anyway, white anklet socks, you don't see that. You're a nice guy, though. What's your name, sir? You look German. Are you German? Sir. Oh, he wants to do the smiling, but that's funny. Good luck to you, sir. I want that guy, when the show's over, I want to take his ass and throw it through the hole. You hear me? wife was right. She nudged him. Good. It's going to work for you. Right? Do that the whole night. You'll be paralyzed. I don't care if you're deaf, dumb, or whatever you are. You're going, home, you're going the hell out of here. The fat guy's going to move you. The 300-pound gorilla is going to kill you, for Christ's sake. Now, God bless you, sir. You can do what you want. I don't care. Oh, God, I was so great. I'm a nice guy. In spite of what you heard, I'm a nice guy. God, you can bet your little bird. Whenever you see me, just don't stop the chat. I'm sorry, Tiny, I can't help it if you're fat. I'm a nice God. People all adore me. Nice God. Psychiatrists explore me. I lie on their couch and they try not to bore me. A nice God, that's me. I'm a nice guy, so put your mind at ease. A polite guy, lady, how about your knees? Love little kids and a stray cat or dog. But this group tonight from the Sears catalog on my swell guy. A band thinks I'm groovy, but they're all high. They think they're out of movie. 
Only stay awake till the people approve me. A nice God. That's me. Watch this, my black brother. Watch it. Can you see that? We're born with it. I'm a Jew, we gotta check for bombs. Yes, my friends, the desert, the desert. My friends, the desert. Remember the words of Peter O'Toole and Lawrence of Arabia. Those are my camels. And the camel, holy crap, here he comes again. And the black brother. Get off the hump, your mother, get off the hump. Usalima. Salimani, Halimani, Ganima. I wish I were a rich man. Hey, yo, bo, boom. Hi, di, 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 dum. Ha, da, di, di, di. Ha, da, di, di, di. I'm sorry, sir. Getting on you? I'm sorry. Forgive me. Pretend it's camel juice. I'm sorry. Yes, my friends, the desert. Remember the words of Abraham, my leader, who took the ram's horn. Da-ha! Da-ha! And the box went lunch. See the p they walk like that. They got a wrench in the underwear. Jews walk the same way, we got a wallet in there. And the black brother got a ham hock. Black brother lying some bitch got a watermelon pit. Remember the words of the great Arab leader, the Caliph Mufti Mufti, who said when he crossed the Sinai Desert, Son of a bitch, it's hot! And the black brother went, that son of a bitch ain't lying! And the Jew went, his 300, cool it off. And the f*** went, why? Don't you forget. Jump up and see, and I'll show you where it's at. He sure is a son of a night. Oh, great God. And don't you forget. Every straight God. Remember that I said it. Jump up and see, and I'll show you where it's at. mouth to mouth. No mouth to mouth. Not the way things are today, I swear to God. I saw a guy give a mouth to mouth, the guy got up and went, thank you. <laughs> Bust your ass for a lousy hundred grand. 
And, and it's not the money, it's the love of you people. <laughs> to all of you, this was my dream. I know what Lachayim is. You know, I don't need some Gentile trying to coach me how to Jews make a toast. You can always tell it's a Gentile brought Lachayim. Anyway, uh, that's a hotel in Mexico, the Lachayim Hotel. Uh, be proud of your heritage, of Gentiles. We need you. So the Jews can give you jobs. Anyway, uh, Tiny, Jesus Christ. What do you do for a living, Tiny? What do you do? Truck driver. Uh, yeah, that fixes. Anyway, uh, you must get in that truck in the front seat and must go, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know what's great about you? You've got a big smile and you can laugh at yourself. And the wife's laughing too, because the way he looks, maybe a year. I'll tell you this. No, God forbid. Have many years. I'll tell you this. Talk. Big, big son of a bitch, isn't he? Jesus Christ. That's the kind of guy you like to put on your couch and tell your wife it's a bear. I'll tell you this. Oh, gee, no, God bless you. To all of you. Good thing. What's the name of this guy? Yeah, to all of you, my friends. Oh, the hooker came late. The hooker with the, with the guy that handles it. Okay. Sit down, lady. Everybody saw you. Your body's not that great. Sit down. <laughs> she came in like everybody knows. This was my dream, to be here in Pala. Uh-uh. <laughs> Forty million jobs. We, we got to work in a place that's not catching on. I'll tell you this. Let me take a sippy poo, a sippy poo, so that they, you know. The big job, don't get, take a nap, you know? When you get older, it just curls up into the main ping pong ball and goes to sleep. Spirito Santo. Santo Pispanto. Tote Frote. Tote Frote. Are you guys on vacation? Tote frote. Jews, you better duck. The black brother, when he's right, you get that stuff on you, you get a kid. I'll tell you. No, the Vatican, I tell you, my dear friend, dear friend of mine, Newhart, is an Irish Catholic, and we've been, don't applaud, you never saw him for Christ's sake. I tell you, he's not here tonight. He's home with the wife trying to take a pop at her. Anyway, but it's great, though. I was in the Vatican, I swear to God, a couple of years ago. See the Pope. And then the, we didn't have the juice then. We sat way in the back and there was a little, little tiny man up there. And all the Catholics going, bless your father, bless your father, bless your father. And the Jews were in the back going, want to buy a hat? Want to buy a Pope hat? Who wants to buy a Pope hat? No. No, that's... That, that's a joke, God. Buy a Pope hat. No, I was there with the, with the other father years, a few years ago. We were there. In the Vatican. I swear to God, I was in the Pope's quarters. I really went my hand to God with my wife. All the jewelry and everything. The jewelry. As soon as the wife heard the jewelry, she said, break the case. Break the case. Anyway, but we were there. We were, honest to God. And it's beautiful. But we were there when the Pope, the German Pope, the, the, the father that was kind of sickly, you know. And he, and he came out in the balcony. I'll never forget it. And he went, me, me. Spirit of God, me, me, me. Me, 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 me. No ma, me, 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 and all you beautiful Catholics went, huh? <laughs> but today, the man got the strength and health. He was a German, but he retired. Spirito Santo, und tanto, und steiben Eizen geweiden. That's a joke, Father. That's another joke, Father. I call him Father. <laughs> His real name is Mo, Moses. Anyway, uh, Mo, yeah, look around at this crowd. God bless you. And you're an elderly lady, but you're stunning. Never be ashamed of your age, I swear to God. And you're an elderly lady, but you're really an elderly lady. I'll tell you this. No, it's a joke. It's a joke. You know. uh, oh, the, the, the Korean guy's your husband? I guess the family's thrilled. Anyway, uh, oh, he's Filipino, Filipino, I'm sorry. 
Filipino. Yeah, you, you were great people during World War II. You, beautiful words. Retreat! I'll tell you this. I was getting my hair shot off and they were retreating. Were you in the service, big guy? Yeah. Why not? For Christ's sake, we, we were short of tanks. I'll tell you this. Jesus Christ. The whole goddamn thing. See, this is my kind of broad. The old lady smelling her hand. Where you been? The old lady sitting there going, oh, 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 Jesus. But I look at the blonde, this, the blonde that came in late. I know it's good lamps, lady. Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm married to a woman like that. I swear to God. Married to a woman like that. Eight, uh, how, how, what is it? Seven, what, how many years is it? Forty? He knows because he fools with her. Anyway, uh, 47 years. I swear to God. She walks around the house like this all the time. I swear to God. Finally, I had to paint the eyes on her ass. Then I, then I painted a smile on it, and I've been kissing it ever since. <laughs> you guys were just great tonight. <laughs> anyway, it's fantastic. I laugh about people. That's what I do. Irish, Jew, Puerto Rican. Well, Puerto Rican. I'll tell you this. Puerto Rican said to me once in New York in an alley, when son of a bitch, I don't even know Maria. I'll tell you this. I don't even know Maria. That's my best joke, lady. You get on my goddamn nerves. <laughs> fat broad is staring at me. I didn't want to say fat broad, but you're pissing me off because you're not laughing. <laughs> Sitting there. Is that your daughter? Well, put your old lady in a home, for Christ's sake. <laughs> no, is that your, just your friend? Is that your friend? You're, are you a married lady? You're not. The three of them looking for action, huh? <laughs> if I was around the old days, I was great. He used to go, spider! He'd come out there, boy, looking around. <laughs> Just looking around. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking around, boy. That's what you gotta do, laugh at yourself. Cameron, what do you do for a living, Cameron? Law oh, really? <laughs> well, Cameron, kiss my ass. <laughs> You see the way Cameron did that? I'm law enforcement. No, are you a police officer? Yes, sir. God bless you. Come here a minute. Come here a second. <laughs> Hurry up, Cameron. I don't have all night. Hurry up. Hurry up. Shut up. He doesn't need any home. Sit down, lady. The old broad wanted to butt in. Come here, Cameron. Go over there by the steps. You can tell he's a cop. They don't know where they are. No, go over by the steps, Cameron. Is that the steps? Is that the goddamn steps you're supposed to go up? Look at how they all help me. Forty million dollar staff. There's one guy going, where's the steps, Lou? <laughs> Come here, Cameron, hurry up. You're good. Thank you. You're excellent. Can I say something, Cameron, as a, pan- as a friend? As a friend. You're, yes, not, you're not in uniform tonight, but the pants are a little high on the crutch. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's, no, that's, no, that's my girlfriend's fault. I, I never touch the spider while it sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you $100. See how my pants are. <laughs> They're fine, sir. They're fine. <laughs> the cops are f- <laughs> no, 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 no. How You're about what, 34? Uh, 50. Are you really? Yes. How long have you been on the force? Uh, 27 years. And, and, well, are you, uh, are you, uh, are you a car, car guy or on the street or what? A uh, detective. Or a oh, really? Yes. yes. Oh my God, I'm a Jew, don't take our jewelry. Uh, oh. I'll leave you alone, sir. <laughs> you don't have to call me, sir, King. Yeah, yes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man, just kidding. That's great, God bless you. Wear your vest every time you go out. You know, you never know today, wear your vest. 27 years as a detective on robbery squad? What? Uh, yeah, a homicide and uh, work robbery, yes. I can see you on the case. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this looks like, like a robbery. <laughs> I think someone is actually dead. Shut up! (laughs) Yes, oh yes. You know, Cameron, it started out as a joke, but I really like you. I do. (laughs) I like you too. Jesus. Shine on. Shine on, Harvest (laughs) Moon. You know something, Cameron? What, sir? You're a goddamn good dancer. Thank you. And you smell pretty good too. (laughs) Is that your leg or we dipping? (laughs) <laughs> come here, come here. Come here. Yes. You, want, you want a banana? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Come here, my, my, my Filipino friend. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, hurry. You're a nice man. 
go over there by the steps. See, with, with their eyes, they can't find the steps up there. Should I help them? Hurry up, see? See, that's the way they ran when they were being attacked. Sorry, Ma. God bless you, my friend. What is your name again? George. George what? King. George King. King. What? King. K-A-N. I don't need to get pissed off. This isn't a contest. Not George. like Ronnie. <laughs> Shut up, cop. Okay. Okay. Detective, stand over there. And watch your hands, okay? Okay, 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 okay? George King. Okay. George, what do you do for a living, George? I'm a nurse. You're a nurse? <laughs> George, uh, do you have a minute? I need a, a checkup. Oh, okay. Now you're a good sport. God bless you, George. You don't want my kid around with you, do you, George? Oh, God bless. Say hello to the detective. Shit! Doesn't have a disease. What's the matter with you? I might, I might. Step back! Beating the crap out of the detective. Now, okay, you're going to get the better part because I love the Filipino people. Okay. You're going to be General Sayanakana, okay? What's that? General Sayanakana. General... We're not going to have a rehearsal. Just do what I tell you. <laughs> General Sakanayara. General Sakanayara. Yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> Gary, Craig, okay. Craig, right? Cameron. Cameron. Yeah. Like the crowd gives a crap they one or the other. <laughs> Craig and Cameron. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can you imagine him on a case? You don't, you don't solve nothing. You just want to sit down for coffee for a half hour. Okay, no, you say, okay, you're going to, you're going to, you say, do not die, great general, do not die. The Japanese, I'll tell you when, the Japanese must be strong. Banzai, banzai, we will never attack, we will wipe out the island. The island is our people and our people are strong. We are a great nation and a great nation. Banzai, banzai, we must live on, we must live on. Banzai. And George, you say, right. Right. Okay. Come around, come around, come around this way. <laughs> Must be a sail on a Tom McCann. Okay. okay. Come here. No, we're Japanese soldiers. We, we bend our knees. Bend our knees. Okay. We do the prayer. Put our hands together. And we look at us. Stick out our teeth like Japanese soldiers. <laughs> the Filipino really thinks she's a Jap. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Niki no Sakuyara. Oh, no, my God. When we talk in Japanese, Niki no Sakuyara, Matoya. What did you get? said screw me <laughs> give George and the wonderful detective a nice air for being good sport <laughs> give George and the detective a nice air <laughs> give a nice hand you, you wouldn't want your ass up here The detective ran. He ran. You see how he ran? Jesus Christ. He ran. I swear to God. Craig? No, George? You're an absolute delight. You really were. You, you, the detective was good, but... Can't. Shut up, lady. I've gotten fed up with you. Grab the old lady by the legs and make a wish. I'll tell you this. But thank you. You're right. Cameron. I want her name and I want to fool around with her. Uh, uh, George, thank you so How long are you married? 31 years, and you got good, good taste, my dear, really. I was. Cebu, Takloven, Lingayan Gulf. It was a long time ago. I was 19 years old, and they, I said, I do, I do jokes and comedy. And the commanding officer said, keep firing. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> but God bless your country. I was there, and it's, it was worth fighting for. God bless you. And give him a nice hand. Nice hand. (laughs) 
and the detective, where are you, sir? Really, uh, that, Cameron, I'm sorry. Thanks to you. Thanks. Thanks so much. You're really a lonely broad, aren't you? <laughs> but you're right. Cameron. I want her killed. <laughs> she, she making me look like a dummy for crazy. Cameron! Oh, there you are. Cameron? Yes, yes. And that's your girlfriend? My new fiance, yes. Oh, oh. what'd you do with the other one? <laughs> He's a detective. She must be in the alley with a cover over her face. <laughs> Solve that case. Anyway, well, what's your name, dear? Shelly, you're a good sport. And I must say, really, to police officers, and you know all the big horrors that have just happened, but God bless you. And we, we thank all you officers for looking after us. And really. And if I, if I may add one other thing, uh, wear your vest, really. I don't have to tell a seasoned officer like yourself, but wear your vest. God forbid there's some goofballs out there. So good luck and God bless you. Good luck. Hmm? Huh? They don't have it. Nope. I was going to offer you champagne, but the Paco, what is it, the Paco? No, the, the Pala Indians, they don't, they don't believe in that. <laughs> they just sit on their ponies going, is Geronimo alive? <laughs> uh, anybody here in the front, Palo Indian? Are you Palo? Well, they're all in the back playing the Rob Jews. I don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> no, I, I, I had a talk with one of the chiefs. And then I knocked him on his ass and he went to bed early. I don't know. No, they're, they're a wonderful tribe. They do a lot of work stealing beads from other tribes. <laughs> Give me a drink. Jesus, you need a drink. Look where I'm working, for Christ's sake. A town that doesn't exist. What's your first name, big guy? Yen. What's your name? Larry. Larry. Thank you. Do, thank you. I love you too. But I'm a little tied up. When the wife dies, I'll call. <laughs> no, God forbid. Erase that, God. Erase that. It is wonderful to be in your. I was here a year ago, and it's a delight that you asked me back. And I... But I wish all of us, all of us, the good things, most important health, most important health to all of you, good health and happiness. You know, I kid around a lot, but as you said, you know, my, my wife, I'm very happy, thank God, 47 years. Well, what? Don't, don't, you never saw her. Anyway, uh, 47 years. She, she just lays in the bed, you know, at about 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 o'clock in the morning, George, she starts that crap. Pussycat, pussycat. And I gotta get my ass under the bed and go, meow, meow. But you do it, because... Everything's in her name. Maybe you ought to go outside and look for your name on a sign. <laughs> that was my what are you, Count Basie, for Christ's sake? I know, that was the basic theme, right? And you just made that up just now. Uh, let, let me ask you this. Was that worth losing your job? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'll take a drink. Jesus. Oh boy. It's a great crowd, great crowd. Um, by the way, uh, tonight I'm leaving for the States. And so, uh, <laughs> if any of you folks want to leave a message or anything... gotta get abroad so bad see I got that woman's cough <laughs> uh, 
I'll trade you laughter for love I'll trade you one for the other Laughter for love What can you lose? Some madness for birth And for whatever it's worth Whether you like it or not I'll give you all that I've got I'll trade you sunlight for gold One shines as bright as the other Love is pure gold And laughter the sun It's true. I love to do what I do to share this laughter I give for just a little love from. Oh, thank you so much. Just give me a minute. Did, did the crane break? Gee, I stand and walk these stages for 60 years. And I'll tell you, it wasn't easy. But I loved, I loved what I do. It was really tough days. And boy, I met a lot of great people. And I worked down in my beginnings in Miami Beach, Florida, a little tiny club. Maybe he sat a hundred people and they, in rocking chairs. That was their gimmick. And people used to come in and see me. And I didn't perform. I just talked to people and made fun of them as I made fun of myself. But never being mean-spirited or to hurt them. And it was tough. Three shows a night. Well, I don't know how I did it. But I swear I... And Frank Sinatra... God rest his soul, was, was appearing at the Fountain Blue right next door. And my mother, God rest her soul, her name, her name was Edda, that was her name. Edda Rickles, she was like a Jew pattern. And I'm an only child, and when she said good night, I wet my pants. Anyway, you know, she was a great lady. She was. And she always wanted to see me become successful. And she knew Dolly Sinatra, who was staying at the Fountain Blue. And she went up to the Fontainebleau Hotel and said, Dolly, darling, my son Donnie, she called me Donnie. Donnie is working in this little club. you got to get Frankie to come and see him. Please, get Frankie to come and see him. Edda, that was my mother's name. Edda, don't worry, done, done, done. My dear Frankie will come to see Don. About three or four days later, I'm standing up there on a little stage with a piano. And then walks Frank Sinatra with all his friends. Tony Almadini, Louis Capazzuto. Joy Abadan, Abadun, the Bedin, the Badan. And I and I was single in those days. Oh, I was so single. I was looking for a moose, a dog, an owl, any goddamn thing. And Frank came in and he, he was out there to help me. It, it was something else. He introduced me to this cocktail waitress. Her name was Margie. Kind of pretty, blonde, glasses little space in the front teeth and every time we made love she she started a whistle I didn't know if I stooped or made tea you hear those drums they're getting louder they're getting louder those drums mean a great deal to me my wife and I and my dear friends Jen and Bob Newhart traveled the world together and when we came home, we looked at each other and said how lucky we are. We're living in the greatest country in the world. And let none of us forget it. I 
I grew up in a place called Jackson Heights, Long Island, which today is now known as Haiti. And in Jackson Heights, Long Island, was a dentist named Dr. James Cagney. And he had a brother named Jim. And my father was an aggressive, wonderful man, rest his soul. And he said, Don, I know you want to be an actor. I'm going to take you to Dr. Cagney's office, and he's going to introduce you to his brother. Fast forward. There I stood in Dr. Cagney's office in front of the great Jim Cagney. And my father said, tell, tell me you want to be an actor. Tell him. I said, Dad, stop it. Tell him, tell him. And I looked over at Mr. Cagney and said, Sir, I, I'm Don Rickles. I, I want to be an actor. Sonny, it's a tough business, kid. A tough business. Your father tells me you want to be an actor. It's tough. Rejection, rejection, and more rejection. Can you handle it? Well, I mean, don't well me, son. You gotta hang in there. And with any luck, any luck, maybe someday, maybe someday you'll make it. But don't count on it, kid. Don't count on it. Just keep plugging. Jim, I made it. I'm here. I'm here in this cockamamie town. Pala, I'm here in Pala, Jim. I made it. Pala, Jim. And Jimmy did a number that so apropos the way things are today with these young people and as the president said the other night he's going to send some of those young boys and girls home and think about those boys and girls I know what it is without the helmet and the armor they're babies they're just kids scared to death doing so much to keep us here on a night like this those boys and girls from Iraq and Afghanistan oh god they're coming home some of them and Jimmy did a number that tells the whole story to those kids, boys and girls. To those kids. Jimmy, to those kids, Jim. Jim, to those kids. Sweet heart. I, a Yankee Doodle boy. Yankee Doodle went to London just to ride a pony. I am that Yankee Doodle. That Yankee Doodle. That Yankee Doodle boy. Jimmy, bring those kids home safe. Tell God to take care of them, Jim. Tell them, Jim. Jimmy, tell them, Jim. Thank you so much. God bless you. What are you looking at? Gotta get comfortable, don't I, in the chair? Don't I get comfortable in the chair? Can't I get comfortable? Sit in the chair, you know, you get older. You, you can't, it, the underwear gets stuck in the canal. And sometimes it locks and you can't smile. I love you folks here. It's something special. And I love my, my dear friends, the Irish. And why? Uh, for many reasons. But Bob Newhart's my dearest friend. He's an Irish Catholic, a, a graduate of Loyola University in Chicago with all kinds of degrees. And I'm a Jewish kid who grew up in New York, as I told you, and I majored in gymnasium. Here we were, two American boys, raised in two different societies. And we became buddies. You know what the secret is? The wives. If the wives get along, somehow the guys become great friends. And Bob's wife, Jen, and my wife, Bob, are like sisters. And why? Because they both have black belts in shopping. <laughs> and 
and we traveled the world together. The last trip together was, was in France and, and London, around, all over. And when we came home, it happened to be a Jewish holiday. It happened to be Passover. To my Gentile friends, it's like your Easter, the same thing. You color the eggs and roll them on the lawn with the kids. We Jews, we don't have time for that. We, we salt the eggs and eat them. And every Easter, and then Christmas, Christmas at the Newhart House, God willing, every year, my favorite time is when we sit by the fireplace and Bob reads the book of Jesus. Jesus is in the hall. Jesus is in the garage. Jesus is on the couch. Jesus is sitting over there by the pipe lamp. And then Bob reads a story. And we Jews listen attentively. Bob is telling these stories. Yeah. And it's so beautiful. And as a Jew, I keep saying, who's Jesus? Anyway. And then Bob invites us to Mass. I don't going to Mass and the, the Monsignor is giving out the cookies. I swear to God, I'm always in line. <laughs> and the Monsignor says, here comes the Jew looking for a cookie. And then God love you Catholics, you do your great sign. And to me Jews, it means the highway is blocked, take the other road. But every holiday, yeah. When I was a kid in New York, I used to make fun of people, that's what I do. I used to make fun of my mother arrested, the way she smoked a cigarette. The way, my, the way my cousins rode their bikes in the schoolyard. And girls, I always had a problem with girls because I was a smart ass. Pretty much what I am tonight, always with the smart ass remarks. And the girls used to say, here comes Big Mouth. Big Mouth is coming. Then I'm getting them under the stoop and they go, go Big Mouth, go. <laughs> and I was barely 18 years old. And I come out of high school and I never had a job. And my father said, sell insurance. He was an insurance man. And I got a lucky break. World War II came. I was so happy I got a job with the Navy. And they sent my ass to the Philippines for two and a half years. And all I remember was a guy running around the jungle going, Where are you, Jew? Where are you, Jew? And we had a black captain that kept saying, We're over here! And I got my can shot off. But thank God I came home safe and sound. Safe and sound. Look at that, Joe. That's a j over there. Because there's, there's a goddamn beaver eating a chair, for Christ's sake, huh? No, I make fun of the Orientals. We need them. So the Jews have a place to eat on Sunday. Anyway. My father said, sell insurance. And I got a license to sell Mutual Benefit of Omaha. A great company. To collect the premium, how to be married to a f***ing werewolf. And I sold one policy to my uncle who died in my arms because I kept putting a pen in his neck. That's what I do, I make fun of people. We had a guy in here the other night went, God damn it, don't make fun of me, I'm an American. I'm an American. I want to put stars in his ass and hoist them for a lot. What am I, a f pilgrim? We're all Americans, right? Ah, you're a lion son. But... Anyway, so if you walk to those doors tonight and you have any animosity for what I do on this stage, all I can say is from my heart, fly Ozark Airlines. Every performer, big or small, needs an audience. Everybody owes oh, somebody something. And Dean Martin, rest his soul, was a, was a great friend to me. I was at his wedding when he married the nine-year-old. La da, la da da da, la da da da, and do it Frank's way. And Sinatra, he was something. As I told you earlier, he came in the club and brought all his friends. And they all sat in the front. And I was out there plugging away. All of a sudden, I heard. I didn't know what the hell it was. Then it dawned on me. They were choking on gunpowder. Would you believe it? I told that stupid joke to Sinatra. And ever since then, I, I can't find my aunt in the Bronx. There were nights when Frank couldn't be there. And all I had left was three winos, a hooker, and one guy with his fly open saying, Want to see a duck? I'm not a rabbi, a priest. It's pretty obvious. And as I said earlier, World War II, 18. 20 millimeter gun. They said, keep firing, keep firing. 18 years old. And boy, can I tell you the truth? I looked around and I thought of my beautiful wife, Barbara. God bless her. And my two wonderful grandchildren. And my daughter, there was something. And my wife, 
you with something else. And my dear mother, my dear mother, when the whole world booed, mind you, when the whole world booed, this great lady stood by me. I loved her. I wish you, my friends, for years to come what I have. People around you who care. Okay, gentlemen, thanks so much. Thank you, sir. Please be seated. I'll, I'll take a moment of your time. Mother, sit down. I spoke to the doctor. He don't want you to stand. Sit down. Thank you, darling. Sit down, sweetheart. Please. You've been, you've been wonderful. I, I thank all of you. God bless you. I thought I'd come here and be annoyed. Anyway, uh, no, that's not true. I, I come here with a, with a happy heart. I must say, you know, life, uh, as I always, as my dad always said, when you stand out on a stage, and you're by yourself. You have nobody else to sell it to but yourself. And with people like yourself and all the years I've been on the stage, especially doing the humor I do, it's so wonderful to see you respond as you did, and I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much. I, I gotta go to the toilet so Jesus, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. I, what, what, the, the police officer, oh, you're still here. The police, no, the police officer. Lovely guy. Lovely guy. And I, my heart goes out to you guys. I have many friends in the police department and in L.A. The, uh, Bill, Bill, uh, <laughs> thanks for the help. <laughs> he just sits there waiting for morning. Bill, Bill Br Bratton. You ever hear Bill Bratton? Yeah, a uh, dear friend of mine. And Bill was great. We used to go out together. And he, he always said, could I show you my gun? Anyway, uh, no, he didn't do that. But anyway, uh, but uh, it, it's, it's, it's been great. We, uh, we're, tonight, we're, we're going home. I was going to stay, but I, I got to look at the lobby and some of the people on <laughs> A lot of people by, 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 by the tree in the fountain going <laughs> I hate that when they get old, you know, and they spit up. I hate that. Anyway, this is it. Oh, the band, yeah, the band. I didn't think they did a good job. I'm not going to introduce them. Anyway, uh, the hell with them. Where, where am I going with them? They never like me, for Christ's sake. They never like me. This is a wonderful band. I make fun of them, and why not? Because you heard them play. Anyway, uh, <laughs> You could do that later. You love me. You do that later. You'll phone the family later. Anyway, he's busy going. My wife does that, that, that new crap. You call up Charlie and tell him the gay rally will be Friday. Right. Anyway, I want you to know this guy right here, right here, is no, up on top. As you can see, this is Daddy Warbucks. Anyway, uh, I love it. The sun will come up tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar for tomorrow. Come what may, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you, tomorrow, and only a day. Oh, boy, Eddie, Eddie. That was great. <laughs> hey, folks, this is all makeup crap, but, you know. I don't get an extra dime. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> what are those white tags on the chairs? Does that, does that mean, what does that mean? Cops or Indians? What does that mean? All those white, this white stickers on the chairs. Do you know what that means, Cameron? Oh, seat now. Oh, most of the people are blind. I said, I knew when I came in, they all, are we near, are we near it, Al? Jesus, I 
swear to God, are we on the Titanic? <laughs> I'm staggering all over the place for Christ's sake. This is my, my good friend. Uh, this is Jay, right? Jay? Jay, that's my middle name, Donald J. Rickles. Really? Good luck to you, Jay. I, I spoke to the clinic, and uh, there's no chance. I was hoping that pill, but no chance. But keep your chin up. Sitting next to him is, is Jimmy. Jimmy, you're an Irishman, right? You can tell. And can I say something to a friend, Jimmy? The clip-on is getting on your head. Anyway, uh, his clip-on is clip -on. Anyway, Jimmy, you're a nice guy, really. Hey, I'll make you feel good, okay, Jim? I'll have another beer, Eddie. That's all they do. They sit at the bar. And then if that don't work, they go to the big cannon in the back. Anyway, uh, I'd like you to know that this is a w wonderful drummer. Russ, thank you for coming in tonight. I, uh, Russ is uh, Gene Krupa's son by the fourth marriage. You people don't know who Gene Krupa was. He was a great drummer in his mind. Anyway, uh, but he's a fine musician. And I think a lot. He was backstage trying to say, Don, make me the leader. Anyway, uh, let me have another taste, okay? Uh -huh. And over here, in the back row, back row, this is Bill. Bill? All right, God bless you, Bill. Bill, as you can see, was a former priest that went bad. Anyway, got that 14-year-old brought in the booth and said, forget the story. Just sit over here. Anyway, uh, oh, I didn't do it. It's your religion. They're all in heat all of a sudden. We don't do that, Jews. We give the rabbi a couple of hundred and he does whatever he wants. Anyway, uh, and, and this, guy, this guy here, is, what's, your, what's, what's his name? Uh, Tom, John? God bless you. Watch him, John. He could make a move. Watch him. And, and sitting next to him, you're also Irish, right? You. What, what are you? What? A mutt. Get a leash and get his ass out of here. <laughs> That's, where's Arturo? Arturo? God, you're Cuban. Mexican. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> They're great people. They taught us the runs, you know. Anyway. <laughs> Without them, we'd never use a toilet, for Christ's sake. And the guy on the end, as you can see, is Harpo Marx. Anyway, uh, 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 anyway, uh, and, and, uh, and, and, and Andrew, is that you, Andrew? God bless you, Andrew. No, the background, nobody likes you, I'll tell you the truth. Okay. And this is George, another George. George, God bless you. Oh, you're the contractor. Yeah, God bless you. How do you get it like that? The hair. Yeah. Try to push it forward a little bit because in another year that's going to be on your ass. George, you're a nice guy. He's the contractor. He's the one that found these guys at, at music school. Anyway, and, and this is Glenn. Glenn, God bless you. You're Jewish? Yes. Thank God. Thank God. Get out, Jimmy, and give him that seat. Anyway. Thanks, Glenn, for coming in. Anyway, uh, and the guy next to him is a Nazi general, General von Steinman. <laughs> Could spot him a while away with that grin, that son of a bitch. Von Steinman, Einzigerwein. Thank God you took off the armband. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Bob, Bob, thanks, thanks for coming in. On the end is Italian, right? You're not Italian with that nose? Get a job. Something. <laughs> this guy's either Italian or a Buick, for Christ's sake. What? What are you, Tom? Scandinavian. What? Scandinavian. Scandinavian, son of a bitch. I don't have a joke for that. <laughs> I'm in the business 60 years. I never met a putz that's Scandinavian. <laughs> this is the George Salby Orchestra. Gentlemen, you're the best. Take a bow. <laughs>